Hi, I thought I'd put out a little video on some of my latest thoughts in the event that they wind up having validity, which I think they very well might. So we know that cannabis really, our cannab endocannabinoid system, provides the mind-body link. And certainly among the strongest uh, support of that comes from the observations, peer-reviewed science, that the endocannabinoid system is very much involved in the placebo effect, something I had suggested, in fact, a number of years ago at a conference. Um, so think about what's going on here. And with the placebo effect, somebody thinks they're going to get better, and a significant number of people get better. And it's kind of a universal phenomena. So keep that as one part of the story here. The other thing is we know, if you've watched any of my videos and followed any of my thinking, from far from equilibrium thermodynamics, flowing energy and mass has the ability to organize matter. And that happens in a distinct fashion where you always wind up producing oscillations. It's kind of like our political system, tug of war. doesn't really go very far most of the time unless everybody rejects the existing status quo. In any event, um, biologically speaking, the same thing happens on a subcellular level. There's always oscillations going back and forth, things that activate and things that deactivate and things that generate free radicals and things that compensate always as life tries to survive. That's, that's what's going on here at all the time. And one of the hot areas, of course, in modern biology are stem cells. So what are stem cells? They're cells that have a embryological, depending on which stem cell you look at, they, they, they can go back as far as being what's called totipotent, where a cell can become any other type of cell and therefore potentially any kind of tissue or organ. And there are different lineages of stem cells, but the, the key point here is that stem cells, in order to remain stem-like and retain their youth-like quality, as opposed to aging with the rest of the organism, uh, they typically are more in the fat-burning mode. I've discussed on a number of occasions how carbohydrate burning tends to be pro-inflammatory and fat burning tends to be anti-inflammatory, in addition to the fact that it also occurs simultaneously with a phenomenon called autophagy, self-eating where we actually eat our garbage and in doing so basically clean up ourselves uh, and make us healthier by getting rid of damaged pieces of ourselves. So stem cells can do two things. They can either replicate and make more stem cells or they can be induced to differentiate so that under those conditions the stem cell forms another stem cell and it forms a differentiated cell. So this is how you can make, for example, replacement uh, myocytes, cardiomyocytes, heart tissue, or bones, or blood, or anything else, uh, nerve cells. And we know that the endocannabinoid system regulates neurogenesis, the production of new nerve cells in the brain, as well as plasticity, the making of new connections, and the pruning of ones that are no longer used. So what I'm getting at here again is that dynamics, the flow of things, includes the flow of new cells that are replacing dead or dysfunctional cells, and that since the placebo effect works on so many different kinds of illnesses and conditions, I think we should be assuming that uh, the mind-body connection extends to stem cells. And in support of that, one of the things that's going on with the stem cell, when it's stem-like, is it has CB2 receptors on it, which promote fat burning. And a cell that's burning fat isn't making as many free radicals and therefore not aging as quickly, and hence that's how the stem cell retains its youthful vigor. So when the stem cell has to differentiate, though, it now has to do that in a fashion that uh, allows for it to do so in, in a protected fashion. And in order to generate energy efficiently with a fine level of control, you need the CB1 receptor. 
And in fact, when stem cells differentiate, the CB1 receptor is involved. So you turn on carbohydrate burning and efficient energy production along with the simultaneous danger of making free radicals, which again are at the heart of all age-related illnesses and aging itself. So what's the point here once again? That our mind probably can connect to our stem cells, can help us become healthier. So what conditions of the mind would suit that? And my suggestion is that the more we make our minds thermodynamically consistent with the creative nature that has made us, as we understand what that means in a living system, and then use our mind as the filter so that more of our time is spent uh, constructing ourselves rather than destroying ourselves with the negativity of tension and the free radicals associated with negativity. Instead, we generate a mindset that both within the individual and between individuals on a social level create an altered environment where our mind-body connection becomes more manifest and in fact we as individuals on a population become healthier as part of again the evolutionary process that has always used increasing levels of cannabinoid activity to propel really evolutionary advancement I mean think about it for you first of all stem cells as well as the cannabinoid receptors first appeared with the evolution of vertebrates. And vertebrates, their big characteristic is adaptability. You know, our bones can get stronger and our muscles get stronger and our skin stretches. We don't have an exoskeleton like an insect that we have to shed. You know, we have a level of plasticity, adaptability, that in many cases it can be traced back to the endocannabinoid system since it homeostatically regulates everything in our body from conception until death. So there's a bigger picture is what I'm getting at here that remains to be explored. And, you know, I've got a little glimpse into something that seems very interesting. So I'd like to share it with others and see, you know, what we can all do together by walking down some interesting paths. So have a good day. Bye.